Hello and uh, welcome back friends. We are here with Star Valor once again. Today we're going to be doing some this guy just wants to get shot up by my turret, I guess. We're going to chase him down because nobody gets to interfere with my intro and get away with it. I mean, okay. Uh I'm not I probably could kill that thing actually. But no, we'll leave that to the guards there and chase down our actual foe who has led us right into a pirate hideout. This is this is not fine. You did it, buddy. You get to get away. I mean, we're killing this guy, but you get to get away. So we are going to be outfitting a, a large ship for our fleet. And then we're going to put as many guys as we can into our fleet with the large ship. It's going to either be our frigate or our cruiser. I highly suspect, though, that we don't have enough... Uh, that we don't have enough fleet commander for the frigate. We have, uh, right now, available to us a Venom, which you saw a couple episodes. We have a Juggernaut, and between this recording and the last, I didn't even bother to pick it up. Didn't even bother to record it because there was nothing really to see. We got this shark. I would like it to be the Juggernaut, but I have a feeling that I do not have the ability to add a Juggernaut, even by itself. Because these numbers kind of, they're kind of multiplicative. Let's just look. Actually, uh... Let's, let's get our guys all set up and get rid of this mercenary before we do anything else. He's been stealing money from us for a long time. We haven't needed him for a bit, so... Hey, mercenary. Thanks for the help with that hard mission, but you can just get out of here. Get out of here. And... So, it is two points for shuttles, three for yachts, five for corvettes, ten for frigates, and twenty for cruisers. So I'm only going to have six points other than the frigate, and I can't do the cruiser even if I want to. Six points other than the frigate is basically... It's one corvette. We're in a corvette, right? Yeah, I think it's one corvette and one shuttle. I don't know. I, I can't believe I forgot right after I did it. Can't believe I already forgot what it is. But we're just going to start setting this whole thing up. Getting all of our crew members out and into the station so we can fill everything in. And then I think we're going to start working on weapons and upgrades for the shark. So yeah, we're gonna be able to keep, we're gonna be able to keep the Corvette, we're gonna be able to keep the Eagle up there and then use the Shark. So we have got the Shark here and we're keeping the Eagle, that's all we can really hold. We're gonna add these large lateral thrusters. We already have our uh, heavy impulse drive and our large gyroscope. Oh, we can't take the speed booster three because that requires a larger ship size. That's actually not what I expected at all, but uh, I suppose it makes sense after what we discussed last time. Let's add this heavy titanium plating. And I need to add some kind of inertial dampener. Do I even have one? It does not look like I have one. I'm going to have to craft it. This, we're going to have to do a lot of crafting for this ship, to be honest. Like, tons of stuff are going to be crafted. We're going to all do all crafted weapons on this as well. To be honest, maybe I should be piloting the largest ship, but no, I'm used to my Dorothy, so we're going to stick with that for now. Yeah. We're going to have to make a inertial nullifier then, I think. And we have not even upgraded it all the way. Yeah. Let's just do that now. Let's just go and build a bunch of these until we have this at purple. Okay, one more group of these. And then we're going to be able... Oops, I actually should have probably scrapped those. <laughs> well, we got to scrap them anyway. It's fine. Build one of these and equip it right away. Let's get rid of all these inertial nullifiers that I made that I didn't need. That's not very efficient. That's not great. And then we're going to turn every single piece of iron into a base component. Just like every other time. Stash those. And what is next that we need? We want to upgrade the lateral thrusters. We want to upgrade both of the two green things in here to blue. We also need to get shields, I think, is probably what we should work on next. The one upgrade right there. Let's just make another one right now. Here we go. And everything is blue. That's good. So I guess shields next, right? Shields next? And we could do these. We could do these. It's uh, four thermal reactors for two and then six microchips. Yeah, we got lots of refined metal right now. So yeah, I think that's good. I think uh, I think we're going to do a lot of these things purple. 
if we can, we want to make this ship as efficient as possible. Let's buy a whole bunch of microchips. Not like too, too many, but a bunch. And there we go. Two large nuclear reactors done. That means we can get rid of this one blue one. We don't need it anymore. Just scrap it too. We don't, we don't need to keep it around. We can easily make new ones. Oh, now shields. Now we do shields, I think. Sometimes I, I get confused as to what things I need. We have all the engine parts we need and plating and energy enough. Yeah, it's definitely shields next. Let me see. We want to put on the Mark II shield generators. We might as well just do what we did with the last one and build these until we have enough of them. So once we build these thermal regulators, we'll be able to build our two shield generators. That's going to be great. Yeah, two purple shield generators is quite a lot. The ship holds a lot more than my Dorothy does. A lot more. Even with the upgrade thing, it holds more. M maybe we should hopefully, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should find an upgrade for our Dorothy. I just don't. I just don't know what it would be, and I, I can't find ships on purpose anyway. What was I thinking? I, I have to find ships by accident. There's there's none of that. So, two Mark II shield generators. That's pretty good. Now, what do we need next? I think I probably would like to put a, um, a shield absorber on this thing. I think. I don't look, it doesn't look like I have one. Uh, we need one of these too. I don't. I don't need to, need to make the better one. I can just make the deter deuterium one so that I don't have to make more fine components since we use them all up preparing to make that shield generator. Well, those two shield generators, which I really think are worth it. Let's just build a purple one of these. Let's build some huge batteries as well. All right. Let's see, we could just equip this right away. Where are those batteries? They are not in the bottom list. Um, oh, you know what? They're probably stored on the station, right? Stored in the station? Yeah, they're there. Right at the top. Stored in the station. Okay. Let's see. Oh, whoa. I cannot use these. I cannot use these. I should have realized that. these. This ship has the same component size as the uh, Corvettes do. These, uh... I think these are frigates because cruisers are the next size up. So we're going to have to make small batteries. Uh, maybe 10? Maybe we make 10? I mean, 5. Ten thermal regulators will make five batteries. Yeah. Worth it. Oh, we need microchips again. We are going through so many microchips. I wish we had some copper. We probably do in some station someplace, but it's not worth going back for it. That is one thing you learn in this game. Once you store stuff, you think you're going to use it later. It's never worth going back for it. I mean, sometimes it is if you can if you can do it easily and, a, and quickly in a couple of jumps without having to worry. Apparently when you're full, you can't buy in big chunks. That's a little bit uh, sad. Four. I'll probably just use another one later if I need it. So we'll just make five. It's fine. I don't know if we're going to stick with five or if we're going to go down to, to less. It depends on what we decide when we uh, have a better idea of what else we need to put on here. So what were we talking about before we were going to make that we forgot about? Oh, yeah. Shield absorber. That's right. That's right. We were going to make a shield absorber. Two more thermal regulators then, and we make a shield absorber. We are quickly using up our what previously felt like large pile of, uh... What previously felt like a large pile of, um, refined metal. So let's equip that. We definitely want that. And what else? We're starting to get to the point where we might want to check our ship to see what else we need. So we are going to build a cargo expansion for this ship. I'm not sure we need it, but it doesn't take space up. It just makes us a little slower. And then a couple of heat sinks. We need at least two. 
We started to run out of space, though. I noticed last time we were looking at it. I think I have three after this. Uh, I kind of wanted to put on a Nolos mod. We should check to see what was required to make that. Let me see. Yeah, I was right. We have exactly three spaces left, so... There's not a lot that you can fit into three spaces. I guess maybe a shield generator could fit into three spaces. The shield generator is only one space, right? Let's see, Nodos mod. Oh, there we don't have it purple, and it would take forever to get it to purple, and we don't have fine components. Yeah, okay, we're not going to be doing that then. We don't need a spotlight. I think we're getting close to the end of what we can realistically add to this thing. I mean, we can't just keep adding everything forever, right? We could add, I suppose, one of these, uh, which one is it? Hull replacements? Like one of these two-point hull replacements? That's way too much. Five superior is way too much. And we can't make it better that way, so we might as well just equip this. That leaves one, I think, if we equip the improved hull reinforcement. Yeah. At least one spot, so we'll just equip this sh shield charger, and I think that's it. I think we are equipped. That is every single spot filled in. Let's just check and see that we didn't miss anything that's vital. Uh, we have hull reinforcements now. Shield chargers. We probably should make the two improved upgrade kits to make those blue. There's no reason to leave them purple. After thinking about it, I think we're going to do our weapons before we do anything else, before we do any upgrades, because we might have to remove some stuff based on whether or not we remember anything, and the weapons are going to be important. Where do I click? Okay. So, we have three turrets, which is a little bit odd to me, but only one gunner slot. I was expecting to have more gunner slots. Apparently, apparently, those two side turrets can be operated. Maybe we can, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, but it's perfectly fine. I guess it just gives them a better range of firing so that they can cross over in front of the ship when we're using our center shot weapon. We're going to start with a point defense weapon. It is basically going to be the point defense weapon that we're already using on our Dorothy, but with a couple of small quick adjustments here. Let me see. Going to add one... Can only add one core, not two. Whoops, that is that is not good. Remove one core. Uh, put our heat sink on and put a damage booster on. There we go. I think we're gonna use this as our point defense on here. It's gonna be stronger than the one that we use by quite a bit, but I think that's okay. Uh, we don't need to do anything else. I think it's fine. Let's get that Bismuth. I hope they have Bismuth here. I never even checked. Oh, they do. But they also have Copper, Tritanium. That's good. It looks like most of the stuff we might need to build weapons will be available to us. So that's at least a bit of a relief. Let's just equip this right now and set it to the center where the gunner is. That way they can also fire their point defense to protect us. And I think we're just going to upgrade this right now, since we have a whole bunch of green upgrade kits. Yeah, this railgun seems like a great idea. Uh, I wish I could keep those three cores, but I think we're going to have to stay at eight size. That will probably give us three space for the two side turret weapons. We could put some lasers in there, similar to the ones we're already using. We need aluminum and nickel. We need enough to make two of these. Hmm, it's going to be like 24, and it's going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. We don't want to make it explosive. It makes it weaker. So, armor piercing. I think this is all going to be fine like this. Maybe it needs a range boost. Let me see. Let's buy the aluminum. Buy the nickel. And it is not enough nickel. We need to buy two more nickel. There we go. Let's craft this thing. Um, I don't know if this thing's actually good. That 
That's that's the thing. I don't know if this is actually good. It's 115 per shot, but its DPS is low because it takes forever to fire. Let's just build it. Let's just build it. It's fine. I think it's fine. Yes. So we're going to put the railgun up front. It'll be on the ship, I'm pretty sure. So let's equip that. It went to the right spot. And let's just... Yeah, we got three on each side. So, three more shots on each side, we can make slightly better versions of the burst lasers that we're using on our own ship right now. We should upgrade it though before we get out of here. So we've added another core to this, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We need nickel, we need bismuth. Other than the extra core though, I don't think there's much- oh, we should use the free booster. Oh, did we forget to put the three free booster on the railgun? Well, we're not going to be worrying about that anymore. No, we need 24 and 6 bismuth to get this done. Probably gonna run out of microchips, but let's uh, let's get this done anyway. So 24 and then 6, I'm pretty sure it was 6. And then after we build the first one, we'll figure out how many microchips we need to buy. Let's build this. Uh, what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> we had a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a short circuit there for a second. And now let's just buy seven microchips. That should get us done with all of our weapons. We're going to need to build upgrades, though, for these. Once they're all in place, we have the green upgrades, but we're going to need four blue ones. Equip that. Equip that. Make sure they're in the right spots. They are good. If I was controlling this out myself, I probably would put the railgun on the other mouse button just so I didn't fire it when I didn't need to. I don't know if these, this is actually any good. <laughs> I don't know, but it's worth a shot, right? You know, it's worth a shot. It's something to try. We gotta start experimenting more with weapons. Uh, it looks like its DPS is comparable to mine. Like my DPS is way higher, but its damage per shot is higher for the railgun, which is kind of what we want. The railgun is going to be like a big single hard hit, then it's followed up by the lasers that do good shots. I think that's fine. Let's just get in here and build the four of these we need. Two, three, four. There we go. Did, was that four or five? Did we be, build four or five? <laughs> it's fine. We'll find a use for an extra one if we built five. Uh, what? Uh, oh, ha <laughs> Classic mistake. Classic mistake. We put them in the wrong spot. So the storm was only four. That's fine. That's fine. Four is right. Let's just get rid of all the stuff that doesn't have any reason to be where it is. Inside of our bay here. Let's get rid of these two. Just gonna learn them. Yeah, we could get money for them, but we're not poor. <laughs> we're certainly not poor for a person who can buy almost nothing. Uh, that was the choice that we made. <laughs> it's it's not something that was done to us. We're fine. Refit. And upgrade all of these. Good. And good. All right. I think, I think that's good. I think we're ready. Where you at? Oh, you're up there. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're damaged, so maybe we should go back inside and fix that. Let's just try this thing out ourselves. We have turned up all of the energy on all of the three different categories, thrusters, shields, and weapons. Seems to be able to thrust fine. Woo. Overheat's pretty fast. That's a, that's a thing we might need to deal with somehow. Uh, like immediately overheats. Eh, it just means it's not gonna be able to shoot very much. Hopefully that's fine though. Let's give this back to its actual pilot, Sophia. And then we can go out and check out the last quest. Yes, I, I mean, not the last quest, the next quest. I don't have any idea if it's the last quest. Because I've never done these quests before. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So add to fleet, get in there, Sophia. And I think that's everything. Let's, um, we should, now let's just go. All right. So we are underway. There is Sophia with her brand new, brand new shark. 
there's a bunch of other crew on there. All the positions are properly filled, so but that's that's fine. But let's just make a jump here. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so this appears to be a space station, so this is probably not a combat mission. You were not sure what to expect or what to look for, as luck would have it, it in the shuttle, in transit from the docks, you spot in the distance Sam Stiraki. The ship is so unique that you are sure it is it, despite only seeing it from a glance from the back, from afar. After hopping back and forward in the shuttle to fetch the YT-13, it's time to find the dock. Ooh. So we have found his ship. Finding the place is easy. Getting in takes a while. As first, you had to get rid of a couple of goons keeping guard. You chuckle with the thought that they seemed to think that they were incognito. True bulk, Sam would say. The hangar doors open, so we are getting Sam's ship. Hello, darling. As you walk in, you see George waiting by the ship. There are moments when the hum speaks through someone. He walks around the ship with his eye scanning every detail. This was one of those moments. Mr. McQuire designed this over 80 years ago. He takes a deep breath. It's a beauty. He turns and walks away, passing you by and exiting through the same path you came from. You turn to the ship again and give it a hard look, squinting your eyes. Then you look at the YT-1300. It's time to get you running again, girl. So we are getting Sam's ship. Ah, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's look at this thing. I think to trigger the next quest, we are going to have to board it. Because it's said to enter it, so let's enter it. Here we go. The ship has a last location registered in it. It's the same sector you found the ancient ruins. I didn't see any station there. The sector seemed deserted. Then again, it was a big sector and the coordinates are clearly from there. Help is coming, Sam. So we have to go back to where we fought those, uh, those droid ships. We've picked up a new crew member, T2E, and we have picked up the Jiraki. Now, let's take a look at this thing. So this, this actually is quite cool. Um, I, uh, I really like it. I might just, ooh, <laughs> plasma torpedoes. We don't, we don't like to use those, but because, because they fire weird. But I do like this ship. This ship is almost as close as you can get to a direct upgrade to what I'm already using. That's really, really neat. It's like a purple version. It has one turret. The turret's slightly bigger. It has three weapon bays instead of just two. I like this thing. I think we may just be switching over to the Jiraki. I think that's what we're going to do. But that is going to be for next episode because I feel like we've done enough this time. We've upgraded our shark to usability. We've got this brand new ship. Mostly, I think I'm going to just move my stuff over to it. Oh, oh, it's got a pirate heat sink. That's really cool. Uh, we could really use that. It also has some other stuff here. Oh, there's an Andarian small battery. If it was only like two or three of those, that would be really good. Oh, oh, wait a second. Two large fusion reactors. That is definitely going to be enough that if we break those down, we're going to get the recipe for large fusion reactors. We're going to be able to upgrade basically all of our fusion reactors. I love it. This ship is great. Grab this junk. Next time when I come back, we're going to have this thing suited up, mostly just with the weapons and stuff that's on my Dorothy right now. And we will continue with the mission right away. I think we're going to be able to handle it. Just before we go, though, just to make sure we're going to scrap these. And yes, we have got the recipe and the green version. All right. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you the next time we are here in Star Valor going to rescue Sam. You know, it would be really sad if they took the ship away from me after the mission. No, that's not what this game would do. This game would never take that. Anyway, goodbye for now, and I will see you next time.